Whoa, 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 whoa. Why y'all so happy? And you don't know. Charvette Mitchell is on the radio. It's time to get motivated, excited, and, and, and influenced. Why? It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show, live from Richmond, Virginia. And now, here to motivate, excite, and influence you, Charvette Mitchell. Charvette Mitchell. Well, hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show, broadcasting from the capital city of Richmond, Virginia. But guess what? Heard all across the world wide web. We are super excited to have all of you that are joining us. Hey, those that are coming in on the phone lines already, we say hello. We see you hanging out with us. Thank you so much for those that are coming in from Twitter and from Facebook and certainly Charvette.com and all of our broadcasts. Stations, we say hello, and our mobile phone listeners, thank you so much that have the app downloaded. Just go to any of your app stores and check out Charvette. So, let me tell you about today's show. Uh, we are rolling right in, and I am really excited because uh, the guest I have, at least the first, very first guest I'm going to bring up to the mic, has been on the show before. She's back by popular uh, demand. This uh, young lady is a dynamic award-winning author. She's a producer. Uh, She does so much. We're talking about Iris Bowling. Uh, I'm telling you what, you know her and love her for her books. Uh, And you heard uh, last season and last year about the Heart television show, uh, talking about taking your dream and your destiny from a book to TV. Well, this young lady did it, and she's back again with season two. Uh, So if you're in Richmond, and we're going to tell you even if you're not in Richmond, how you'll be able to catch it, and we're going to give you the snippets of the storyline, and y'all remember Tommy from Martin? Guess what? He's even in it, but we got a whole cast uh, of dynamic uh, actors and actresses that are in it, and, and, and we were able to grab a few minutes with one of the young ladies that's in the lead, one of the lead roles, oh my goodness, Erica Simone Lee. She is joining us. She plays the role of Ashley Harris in the Heart TV series, so she's hanging out here with us. But before we get started, listen, we want you to jump on Twitter, tell people what you are listening to, send them on over, uh, share the link and all that good stuff, jump on Periscope, whatever you got to do, tell them what you're listening to, and join us right here on the Charvette Mitchell radio show. So let's jump right on in. Uh, J.D. and Tracy Harrison have are happily married as they hit the campaign trail for the seat of the Attorney General of Virginia. J.D.'s sister, Ashley Harrison, and campaign manager James Brooks become involved in a relationship. Ashley's ex-lover, David, applies for a position with the Harrison campaign and is rejected by James Brooks. In the meantime, Carolyn Roth, the ex-girlfriend of J.D., is Still angry from J.D.'s rejection. David and Carolyn join forces forces to destroy James and J.D. Oh, my goodness. Iris Bowling coming up to the mic right now. Hello. Congratulations on Season 2. Welcome back to the show. Hi, Chevette. Thank you so much for having me. And we're going to get you to read that promo from now on. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the you put in there. So I am so happy to be back with you. Oh, my God. I am so excited for you. You know, there are – I have mentioned you to other authors um, that had books and said, you know, I I can see this as a play. I can see this as a movie. And I always drop your name. and was like, I know someone that did it. So uh, let's bring our listeners up to date that may just be getting introduced to you. Tell them about the, the heart series, the Heart TV series, and the book, and how this all got started. Okay, the Heart the Heart series is actually a collection of six novels um, that I wrote starting back in 2008. Um, if anyone remember back back then, our president at that time was not something someone that I was, you know, real, real fond of or happy with the job that he was doing, so I decided to create my own president, and um, that's how J.D., um, came into play. So as I wrote the story, what I wanted to do was write Sadie's journey from um, being an assistant district attorney in the city of Richmond and travel, follow his path to becoming actually the president of the United States. Now we see those stories all the time. What we don't see 
is how this man makes the decision to go into politics and then the people that he surrounds himself with. And as we've learned with, with President Obama, it takes more than one person to make the type of change in the country that we need to make change to have change come about. So what we do is we surrounded him with a number of people so you get to see him, how he meets his wife, how he meets and how James Brooks becomes his campaign manager and the other people um, that he surrounds himself with. So the book was so popular, people wanted to see something more. They wanted more. So when the series ended, I kept getting Okay, you can't end the heart series. You, well, we got to do this. We got to I said, okay. That was it. <laughs> and I had no thoughts of doing anything else until I said, okay, I'm going to do a book trailer. And yeah. when I went to do this book trailer, I met these two really wonderful actors. Um, Aaron Wiggins, who plays J.D. Harrison, and Morgan Avery McCoy, who plays Tracy Washington. And anyone that sees them, it is as if J.D. and Tracy just stepped off of the pages of the book and came to life because they wow. are exactly the characters. And so once I did, did, we tried to do the book trailer, that didn't work out too great. So then a friend of mine and I we were in California, and we said, okay, we want to do something with this. What can we do? And we had this long discussion until about 5 o'clock in the morning, and then we decided, okay, Let's make it a TV series. Came back to Richmond. I swear this is the honest truth of that. Came back to Richmond that Sunday, that Monday morning. She went to the to network and she talked with them. She called me in that Wednesday and said, okay, she's going to talk with these people. This is what we're going to do. And that's how it became a TV series. Wow. <laughs> and the rest is history and the future, yeah. uh, as yeah. they say. My goodness, and so let's. So we had the Heart Series uh, season one, and that was phenomenal. Yeah. I watched every episode of that. Oh, uh, and so, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, and so for listeners that say, "Okay, I want to get caught up," is there a way they can kind of, you know, binge watch the first season? Yes, actually, the first season currently is only on DVD, and you can get those by going to my website, which is irisbowling.net. You can get the DVD and you'll be able to watch the whole series. However, we have a little campaign going on right now. And if we can reach a certain number of viewers on my YouTube channel, if we can get them to go in and subscribe to that channel, they will be able to watch all episodes from Season 1 and the episodes from Season 2 when they become available through YouTube. Oh, so so what's your so how do they get to the YouTube channel to help with this campaign and contest? Actually, all they have to do is go to YouTube, put in Iris Bowling, and you will find my channel, and you would just go in and subscribe. That's all you have to do. All right, listeners, so let's help out with that because you definitely want to be able to catch up on Season 1 because Season 2 is right around the corner, March yes, 19th. Man. So yes, let man. me bring on up to the mic uh, a new character for Season 2, phenomenal young lady, uh, Erica Simone Lee playing Ashley Harrison. Uh, she has a love for music, a passion for acting, and you can see her in Season 2 of The Heart. Uh, uh, Erica, welcome to the show. Hello, hello. Hi, we're glad to have you. I know, I'm excited to be here. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> My voice. Yes. yes. So tell us, when did the acting bug bite you? Honestly, the acting bug has been in me since actually a production called Bugs in second grade. <laughs> um, uh-huh. I think I was a ladybug. Yeah, I was a ladybug. And they messed up giving me a script because let me tell you, I fell in love ever since then. <laughs> so any chance oh, I got with theater classes, you know I was all up in it. And I was lucky enough to go to a summer camp when I was in high school in Chicago, um, which was awesome because, you know, Chicago is known for their theater and Broadway. So I got to yeah. meet a lot of great people and really dust up on my skills. And ever since then, I kind of kept it, I guess, on the back burner, I guess as a hobby. I never really uh-huh. took that step into really trying to be someone with it. 
Um, and I'm still not really trying to be someone with it, but I'm just following my heart now. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So I'm so grateful for the opportunity Miss Iris gave me Aww. to start <laughs> to debut, to debut pretty much. This is my first ever recording, filming, anything on the set. So besides, you know, the theater stuff in high school. And you would, you would never yeah. know because she did, she stepped in um, to a role that she was not originally selected for, and she came right. in like gangbusters, and she did a phenomenal <laughs> job. In the role oh, of Ashley, you. she really wow, did. So you. she, you would never know that this was her first, very first, first performance. Yeah, first rodeo. Ooh, mm-hmm. Your first and rodeo, it was definitely an experience. Can, yeah, we can. And I wouldn't you. change that for anything. <laughs> <laughs> on live and in person, well, on the on the set and all of that. So, Iris, tell yeah. the listeners, how did you go about uh, getting the cast together? Are we going to see a lot of returning faces, a lot of new faces, in addition uh, to Erica? Yes, you are. You are going to see, of course, James Brooks returns. Um, that's Mark Vincent. We also have Aaron McCoy, who, I mean, Aaron McCoy. Oh, my God, him and Morgan's going to have fun with that. <laughs> um, Aaron, Wiggins. <laughs> Aaron Wiggins returns as J.D. Harrison. Morgan McCoy returns as Tracy Washington. Tremaine Norris. Oh, my gosh. He returns <laughs> He returns like a ball of fire as, as David yes. Holt. So you are going to have a, a, the same, a number of the same characters um, from before, and the actors play in those roles. Um, you're going to see a continuation right where, basically right where we ended in season one. We're picking up season two. It, the only thing, difference is the focus this time is on the love between, relationship between James Brooks and Ashley Harris. Mm, yeah. So, Ashley, we're going to see a lot about, well, not mm-hmm. Ashley, I'm sorry, Erica. We're going to see a lot about your character, Ashley. And, you know, probably yeah, going to start Erica. Huh? Yeah, same difference. I said Ashley, Erica, yeah, yeah, same they're difference. gonna start That's calling you right. Ashley. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now the great, the great difference between this is the difference between the type of love that the two couples have. JD right. and Tracy had that really sweet, um, right. first time love at first sight kind of love. Mm-hmm. Ashley and James are hot. They are hot from the beginning. <laughs> they are hot in the middle. And they go out hot. I mean, they're just they're just a hot couple. That's just how, oh. how they are. But the love is just as deep. The love yes. is just as deep. Oh, you know, all right, so. listeners. So you got the heads up there from the executive producer. Uh, and so, tell us when will it air? When can those uh, of us that are you know sitting with bated breath can when can we watch it? The um, first. Episode airs March 1st, Saturday night at 10 o'clock on Fox Richmond. And it goes for six weeks, and the last episode would air in, on April 23rd. Um, and the great thing about it is, remember last season, Charvette, we was at one at 5 a.m. in the morning? Right. Uh, this time, yes, this time we are on Saturday night at 10 o'clock. So you get mm. your opportunity to get your little heart taste in, and then you can still have time to go out and party. Yep. And I love it. And I was so happy when I saw that new time frame. I'm like, yes, yes. that's going to be so much more exposure, you know, for yes. your work on screen. Yes, we are excited about that. And we did we did make so many changes technically. Um, each time I look at the episodes, I sit back and I say, wow, this is like watching a million-dollar TV show being made. Now, of course, wow. we did not have a million dollars. However, <laughs> right. the show looks so great. If you've taken a look at the trailers, people can go out to my YouTube channel, and they're able to look at the trailers that are out there. They will see Erica in action as Ashley. They will see Mark Vincent as James Brooks. They will see Tremaine Norris um, as David Holt. Um, you'll get to see what the quality of the of the um, filming looks like. It was just yeah. um, a great way to expand 
on what we did in season one. Phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal. So, Erica, tell us, how was it uh, filming in Richmond, you know, living here and then, you know, making it a, making it, your, this is the set. What was that like? Honestly, I honestly couldn't ask for anything better than that. With it being my first role, I think I probably would have been spooked if I was thrown anywhere else other than home. So <laughs> it all worked out for me, my favor. I feel like that was definitely a blessing from God to give me my first chance right, right, right at home, right down the street, literally. <laughs> The, the audition was literally exactly. five minutes away from my apartment. So I was like, oh, no, I got to go to this. There's no way I can go. <laughs> so I went just to go, and look what happened. I, I'm, yeah. <laughs> That's nothing You're, but God. You have I'm a lead role. Prayer. We're going to see you. We're going to see it. Awesome. Right. And so like, oh. where, where are some of the places that those that are watching, this is what's so neat about this being, you know, that we're, those that are listening, that are hanging out uh, from Richmond, Virginia, because we have our next guest is from Richmond, yes. California. Uh, so <laughs> Richmond, Virginia, um, will, it's really cool to see, um, you know, some of the places. So where, where are some of the places that will be familiar to those that are watching that are from Richmond? Well, you are definitely uh, – the yeah. studio that we actually filmed out of – that we used as a base was actually in Chesterfield County, um, not far um, not far off of um, Melodian Turnpike. And okay. then we have, we have scenes that we did at Bryan and Stratton, the, the college, mm-hmm. Bryan and Stratton, the one off of Hall Street. So we did some scenes there. We did some scenes with Franco's, Fine, Clo- Fine Clothing. We actually yeah. did a scene um, with them, and they were so – Gracious, they allowed us to use their rotunda in order to do um, a certain scene. I'm not going to mention which scene it is, but mm-hmm. a, a certain scene, in order to do a certain scene. So that was really great on that part. Um, the Glass Boat down in Carytown is this wonderful little um, um, boutique that has clothing oh, and yeah. furniture. They have a lot of really unique things um, in there. The owner, John, allowed us to come in and film the, one of the girls' shopping scenes um, in there. So oh, we wow. got to film there as well. Then there was a, a young lady, and I, I can't think of her name right now, that actually has horses. And they allowed us to come out there and film um, with their horses because James Brooks actually owned a few horses. So we oh. were able to go out there and film. And, of course, you have downtown Richmond. You have the course building. You have... Um, um, MCV. Well, I don't think it's called MCV anymore. I think it's Medical College now. But you have Medical College, and of course, you're going to have a lot of um, downtown um, footage that's going to be in there as well. So you're going to see, you're going to recognize home because it's home, and you will recognize right. it. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. I love that. If you just tuned in, hey there, we're chatting it up about The Heart uh, TV series. Oh, my goodness, season two premiere uh, is coming, uh, Where Love is Real. We're chatting it up here uh, with mm-hmm. award-winning author Iris Bolin and Erica Simone Lee, you can see on mm-hmm. the big screen. So, Erica, <laughs> I heard a little birdie told me that you can sing. Is that right? Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, at first I'd be like, no, but now I'm going to go ahead and own up to it. Yes, yes, that's the talent God has given me. Yes, I do sing, and I am exploring that side of my talents right now. Okay. I actually have management helping me with that. Um, but I'm in the artist development stage. You probably won't hear any records from me soon because I'm still, you know, still trying to find me, right. trying to find my sound, but um, definitely working on it. If you have All it, right. use it. Definitely, if you have any time. I tell you, you I tell you, Charmette, um, we were very, very, very fortunate to grab um, Erica when we did. Um, the, oh. Her talent, <laughs> She's like, her, because, because her talent on both ends, not just with the acting, but with the singing as well, as she just said, it's, it's a God-given talent. The, she's a natural yeah. um, at this. And I think that one of the things that you and I will be able to say in a few months is that we knew her when. Oh, yes. we expect that. <laughs> we certainly expect that Erica Simone will be moving into much higher ground. I do anticipate wow. that. 
Thank you. Thank you, Miss Ange. Awesome. Ooh. And like I said before we came on air, I will have the archive to prove that That's I had right. it. So I will always <laughs> right. be able to pull pull that out. All right, because we all started, everybody everybody that's huge and that we know about now started somewhere. Speaking of, right. which, speaking of which, Tommy from Martin, Yay. you gave him a job and I he's did. in the heart. I so they can't did. say Tommy don't have no job. No. Tell us about that. that. Tommy um, was, intro- I was introduced to Tommy actually on a couple of different fronts. Um, because they felt that he would be someone who would be willing to come in and help this little poor little girl that didn't know what she was doing <laughs> to get this show um, off the ground the way that we really wanted to for season two. And sure enough, Tommy came came to Richmond. I went and met with him, and, and we sat and we talked, and he said he would be happy to do it. And I was so touched. I'm not going to lie to you. I was very, very nervous. I'm still very nervous around Tommy. I don't know why because he's he's the person. (laughs) So I'm still Uh very nervous around him. But I was very nervous to ask him to do such a thing. I mean, we talk about Tommy from Martin. And then he has all of these other projects that he's working on. And like the one he's doing in Atlanta right now, he's doing a documentary, working with some young men there, mentoring them. And Aaron Wiggins is actually on that um, product, um, that um, pro project with him. So for we went and we met and we talked, and and I was hesitant to ask, but mm-hmm. I did, <laughs> and he said yes. You know, it was kind wow. of like saying yes to the dress. I was really excited, <laughs> you know. And then I kept saying, he's not going to really come. He's not going to really come. But sure enough, he came. He filmed the scenes. And he's in a number of of different scenes because he plays Avery Brooks, James Brooks' father. And he plays such an intricate role in his son, getting his son's life on on track. And um, so he came and he did, and he was was the ultimate Avery Brooks. (laughs) Wow. Okay. Indeed. So Indeed we was. got we have something to look out look forward to yeah. and certainly all of the cast we are looking yeah. we're looking forward to. Now, um you have to tell us about the premiere and the red carpet event and all yes. that. Oh, yeah. The premiere <laughs> the premiere is gonna be held on March twelfth. It's gonna be at the BCU um BCU Commonwealth Ballroom. The screening for the first episode of The Heart is going to be held in the FDA. It was beautiful, beautiful settings that they have there. And the great thing about it is that this year we're not going to have to travel around. Last season we had, you know, the press junket was at one place right. and then the screening was at another place and then the the ball itself was at another place. But the premiere, the screening premiere and gala will all be in one location. And it is going to be on again on Saturday on March twelfth. And if you have not gotten your tickets for this very carpet event, you may want to do it quickly because tickets yes. go in on March the fourth. So you may want to go out to Eventbrite, look up look for the heart, or go to you can go to my website, which is irisbowling dot net, the link to go out there and get you a ticket. Oh, yes. Okay. Do that. Do that. And if you're hanging out on Charvette. dot com, I've got a link. Um, just scroll down to where their blog is. Both of their pretty pictures uh, and bios. Uh-huh. It says purchase tickets <laughs> yeah. here. So um, just go right there. We make it very easy for you. So Erica, your is this your first kind of like red carpet premiere event? Ah! Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, I could not wait to go out and shop for a dress. That was the first thing. I was like, "What am I going to wear?" But um, yes, yes, I found a beautiful gown. I'm so excited. Oh. This will be my first event like that ever, and I, I'm ready. March 12th cannot come fast enough for me. Wonderful. Well, I would tell Wonderful. you the the cast usually steps up their game. They look good on the show, but when it comes to red carpet events. They uh-huh. used to step up that game. So I suspect oh, that yeah. all of the ladies are going to be hooked from toenail to the tip of their hair and the dime. <laughs> so these guys, these guys are very, very serious about their dress. I mean, about yes. their clothes, how they, how they dress. So they're going to come right. ready, ready to shine. Oh, yeah. to I know everyone's going to look great. Yes. <laughs> 
I know everyone is going to look great. And I'm going to be there. I'm going to do some press interviews. Yes. So I'll be doing some live interviews Ooh. there. Yes. So I awesome. will be there. Uh, and, and we're yes, excited I need to, to have see. you. Yeah. Yes. I'll figure out what I'm wearing, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, so one more time. Um, I have final questions for both of you, but, Iris, I want you to make sure, um, let people know how can they watch. We want to make sure they get that and also the YouTube okay. channel information. Okay, I certainly will. You can watch um, the Heart TV series. It's going to be on Saturday from Fox Richmond. It's going to start at 10 p.m. on um Oh, on Saturdays, I already said that. As far as those who are not in the Richmond, VA area, you will be able to watch them prayerfully on YouTube through pay-per-view. So if you will go oh. to my YouTube channel, you should be able, you will have to subscribe, and we're sending everyone there to go ahead and subscribe so that we can make that available. So if you go to my Facebook page or if you go to my look at my Twitter, we've been putting out that link so that you can go and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you will be able to see the Heart TV show wherever you may be. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Okay, I love it. So, gosh, our time has flown by, but I'll get some more uh, interview time with you guys at the premiere. But my last <laughs> question both of you, for the both of you, the the goal of the show is to motivate, excite, and influence. And yes. I'm going to start with Erica. I want to know what continues to motivate you. And then, uh, Iris, you'll have that same question, what motivates you? Okay. Honestly, following my dreams is what motivates me. <sighs> Because, let's see, I feel like everyone is kind of conditioned to go to high school and then from high school go to college, from college, get a nice degree, get a nice degree, get a decent job. And Mm -hmm. I was following that, too, and then I just realized that that really wasn't me. I really wasn't happy. I was doing my, I think it was chemistry homework one night, and I literally just started crying because I just knew this this wasn't what I wanted to do. So I sat and I prayed to God. I I see, I listened to my heart. I was like, well, Erica, what is it that you want to do? And the only thing that came to my mind was acting, not even singing. Like, I knew I could sing, but that's not even where my my true passion was. It was acting. Mm -hmm. So I prayed to God. I was like, God, please, just give me one one chance. And I finished my prayer, wiped my tears, finished my homework. And I didn't get that one chance until two years later, but God still heard me. And yeah. I'm I'm on it now. Now that I got my chance, okay, yeah, it's time to follow your heart. Always follow your heart. That's, oh, that's, that's what motivates so good. Me. That's so oh. good because prayers don't expire. So just because it was two oh, years amen. later, yes, yes, he still yes. heard you. I love. I he knows love that his timing wonderful. is right. Two years ago yeah. wouldn't have been the right time for me. So. Oh, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, before I leave you, Erica, how can people connect with you on social media and all that good stuff? Yeah. Alrighty, so my Instagram is V T H E dot Erica E R I C K A dot Simone S Y M O N E. Um, Facebook, you can look me up by Erica Simone Lee, spelled the same way E R I C K A S Y M O N E L E E, and Twitter Erica Simone. And I don't think I need to spell it again, but yeah, Erica Simone. So everything is Erica Simone. If you type in Erica Simone, I'm sure I'll pop up somewhere. (laughs) Wonderful. Thank you so much. All right, uh, Iris, tell us what continues to motivate you. What what motivates me is helping others accomplish their dreams. I think the most rewarding feeling in the world is to come here you know, Aaron say, Iris, thank you, or Morgan say, Iris, thank you, or Erica, you know, say, Iris, thank you for giving me the opportunity because yes. sometimes yes. all people need to fulfill their dream is to be given an opportunity. And that's yeah. what Siri Austin Entertainment is about. We're trying to give people opportunities. That's one of the whole reasons. I, I swear it's all Aaron and Morgan's fault. But it's one of the most reasons that we actually, I actually went into this filming piece of what we do. Um, it's because I wanted to give them an opportunity. And the one thing that I'd like to leave people with, and I know they see me 
they see this written, they see it everywhere, you see any of my work, you just have to remember that all things flow through the heart. Follow your yes. heart and you're going to be okay. Wonderful. Wow. Well that was said. Deep. Ooh, well nice. said. <laughs> yes. Yeah, She's wow. ready for her uh, acceptance awards. I, I love right. that. Oh, ladies, <laughs> thank you so much again. I look forward uh, to watching. Oh, 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 did we let them know what channel they can watch it on? It will be on Fox it. Richmond. I think it is actually, um, oh, God, I think it's actually channel 13. Okay, so Fox Richmond. Fox Richmond. Yeah, Y'all got it, right? Fox, my TV Richmond. If you, if you right. find it, you'll be able to know exactly what channel it is. I am so excited. You got a good, a really, really excellent spot, good yes. uh, coverage on yes. Fox, so this is about to blow up. So yes. thanks, ladies, for yes, stopping by. Wait, <laughs> Thank you for excited. having Thank me. Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh, Bye-bye. you're welcome. All right. All right, listeners, we're going to take a, a quick commercial break very quickly, and then we're going to be rolling into our second uh, segment right here. Listen, uh, I got the fellas hanging out in the virtual green room uh, right now. They are back by popular demand. I need all of my quartet lovers to get on the line. Listen, I need you to tweet, Facebook, all that, and say, listen, you all have to hear about this gospel quartet uh, music that has a Twist Consonance is joining us back after this quick commercial break. Don't you move. It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Charvette will be back after this. Introducing contemporary gospel artist Diani with the new hit debut single title, The Blood on Remail Records. Oh, they slay me, crucify me. I have been washed in the blood I'm reading. Purchase Diani's new hit single on iTunes, Amazon, in February. Once again, be sure to check out contemporary gospel artist Diani with the new hit debut single title, The Blood, on Remir Records. Follow Diani on Twitter, Facebook, by going online to dianimusic.com. That's spelled D-E-O-N-I-M-U-S-I-C.com. That's dianimusic.com. IndustryBuzzWith3Gs.com Join in today on the movement to bring integrity back to media. With one click of a button, you can disseminate your information right from IndustryBuzz to all your favorite social sites like Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, and to your email contact. Maximize your vision today. Plus, get the latest news, entertainment, and media. Need fashion or makeup tips? Looking for a job? Connect with us today. Want to connect with other business visionaries? Connect with us today. This site is for everyone, from teens to music lovers, from businessmen and women, industry professionals and performers, As a member of Industry Buzz with 3Z, you'll gain help promoting your vision. Industry Buzz with 3Zs will expose, expand, and keep your fan base up to date with all your happening. Members also receive free or discounted perks from various sponsored companies. So join the social network, expand, and stabilize your business. Connect with like-minded individuals. Need an artist to minister at your upcoming event? Look on Industry Buzz. Have a voice and submit your article to our e-magazine. Industry Buzz with 3Zs is the place to globalize your vision. Establish it today. Be heard. It's all on IndustryBuzzWith3Zs.com. Spiritual Food for Thought, 31 Inspirational Quotes to Jumpstart Your Day by LaTanya Boyd consists of inspirational messages that offer daily words of empowerment, promote spiritual growth, and development in the Lord Jesus Christ for your day-to-day living. Spiritual Food for Thought, 31 Inspirational Quotes to Jumpstart Your Day, available now on Kindle, ebook, and paperback. Log on to www.latiboyd.com. She's here to motivate, excite, and influence you. She's Charvette Mitchell. Charvette Mitchell. Mitchell. It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show with in-depth interviews from today's leading author, gospel artists, stars that you want to know about. And now, Charvette Mitchell. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, guys. Hey there. Charvette Mitchell, uh, broadcasting from the capital city of Richmond, Virginia, but heard all across the world, the wide web. And listen, we're bringing up our next guests who are from Richmond, California. How about that? Like, we could not have planned that any better. Uh, I'm telling you what, contemporary gospel quartet music uh, at its finest, hailing from Richmond, California, which is in the San Francisco Bay Area. 
uh, Consonance is a past winner uh, of Society's uh, Best Gospel Group, the Bay Area Blues Society's Best Gospel Group. Uh, they have a project out, released February. Oh, my goodness. Come on in this house uh, and you're going to hear all about it. We're going to be chatting with all of the members. And so I want you to put your hands together. I want you to grab your coffee. I want you to jump on Twitter and Facebook and tell them what you're listening to. Tell them tune in right now uh, as we run to bring our guest up to the mic right now. All right, the mic is open. The lines are open for our guest. Hello and welcome to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Who do we have from the group? Uh, Mac Williams. Hey, oh, Mr. Awesome. Williams, how are you? Great, and who else do we have? We have Paul Foster Jr. Hi, Paul Foster Jr., how are you doing? I'm doing great, I'm doing great, listening to what you're putting out down there. All right, I get it, I get it. Thank you for listening. Listen, we want to hear what's been going on with you guys. Y'all are back by popular demand as well. We had you on the show before, but just want to catch up. So certainly, um, and I'll let you all decide who wants to chat about the new project, but tell us all about this new project and what listeners can expect to hear. Matt, take it away. Take it away, Matt. You, I think it was All right. I think it might be breaking up a little. We have any technical difficulties here? No. All right, Paul, you might have to take over. Can you? All right, let's do this. Can you guys hear us? I can hear you. Okay, great. I can hear you now. So tell us about the new project. Well, the new project consists of, mm-hmm. consists of uh, some new uh, popular sides that we got out now, uh, a little temporary gospel, and we have to, uh, the basic gospel that we are singing. Uh, Mac Williams kind of wrote uh, this population and put his heart into it. Okay, wonderful. And how would you say that it's different from the last project? Well, it's different from the last product because we do we do a lot of uh, blues uh, concerts, uh, uh, and then therefore Matt kind of wrote songs uh, around that, but with the gospel twist. Because we had a, a famous singer within our group, Bobby Reed, that uh, that sung uh, uh, blues. And he was okay. in the heart of blues. He had a hit out called uh, Why Do You Have to Lie? And it was a hit song uh, back that Bobby Reed uh, put out. But uh, Bobby Reed is with us. He plays bass and he sings. And so we have we have some, some hard-hitting songs on this CD. Okay. And so let's talk about the writing. How do you all come up with um, select writers? Or is it all Mac? Is he the one writing everything? Well, on this particular population, uh, Mac Williams uh, said that he wanted to write and produce this particular CD. So uh, Mac went to the drawing board, and then he uh, he just uh, started writing, and just, just came up with a lot of different a uh, lot of different populations. And he wrote uh, accordingly to each uh, individual member within the group. Uh, and he wrote some for me, and he wrote some for Bobby and uh, Larry, and just kind of mixed it up, Melvin Williams and uh, uh, Sam Cox. So he just just mixed it up a whole lot. All right. And I was just saying to a friend the other day, one thing about uh, good old quartet groups and quartet music, you all know not only how to minister, but it's like y'all know how to give a show. Do you hear me? Well, we try to do the best we best we can with the help of the Lord. The Lord is what brings yeah. it out. Yeah, and uh, certainly always dress sharp. You know, always, always sharp as a tack with your suits on. Well, we try to look as neat as we possibly can, and do the best we possibly can, and uh, 
try to keep the tradi- traditional going uh, because originally my father was with the Soulsters and uh, and Sam Cook, Johnny Taylor, and uh, sold quite a few populations. So uh, I kind of keep his voice going within the group and adding that flavor to uh, to our population. Okay. So tell listeners uh, again and remind them, how did you all come up with the name for the group? Well, uh, we came up with the name. Melvin Williams uh, came up with the name uh, a while back before I came into the group. Melvin Williams had came up with the uh, name of the of the group. And then I came in, and then we just uh, mixed it up, which uh, me and Mac was original members from uh, the gospel tones going way back with the brothers and others when we recorded with RCA uh, in uh, Los Angeles. So it's got a, got a quite quite a few different uh, lead singers on this population. All right. And actually, I think uh, we might have Mac back. Uh, let me, I'm rhyming and didn't even know I'm rhyming. And let me, let me go to the phone lines. <laughs> Mac, do we have you back with us? Yes, I'm, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Loud and clear. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, I hear you too, <laughs> Listen, we have to have you on here. You you doing so much work with the project and, and just making sure everything is is moving and grooving. And so I was just saying, uh, I was talking to a friend saying how quartet groups just seem to be able. They minister and then just they give you a, a show. You can you can really you can really get into um, the quartet music. So Mac, do you feel that quartet music has shifted or changed over the years? Um, yeah, it's shifted, it's changed. You know, quartet groups back in the day were 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 like your R and B groups. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, back when the Soulsters and the Dixie Hummingbirds were were really singing in their in the early fifties, they were like our, our our popular uh groups. People would go to the auditoriums and to the school auditoriums to see those groups just like they would go see the Temptations or Boys to Men or what have you and and that's kind of changed now uh, because quartet music is not as popular as it was, and that's why we, try, um, you know, we're hoping that we can uh, revive it, but also bring it back with a twist. Uh, you know, we have a lot of uh, a lot of harmony uh, that we use. We use four and five part harmony on our songs, um, and we try to, you know, make the songs uh, relevant to today. And um, you know, there's a I got a song on there where. Uh, you got to stay holy. It's the last cut on the on the on the on the CD, and um, uh, we have a guest artist, Lisa Shaw. She's from Australia. Um, oh wow! And she she's singing on there along with my son and her boyfriend, Larry Noble. Well, actually, it's her husband now because they just got married. Um, uh, her husband, Larry Noble, who's our guitar player in our group. And so my son, he does a rap on this. He does a rap at the end of the um, at the end of the uh, cut. Um, so oh, wow. we're trying to do something different. We don't just want to make it, you know, sound like the old traditional gospel. Um, and, we, and then we have, as Paul was saying, we have uh, a three sides on there that we call good news blues. Um, you know, I was I was a fan of the old time the old time blues artists, um, and a lot of a lot of um, their um, styling and a lot of their phrasing came from gospel. And so there's a merger between the two. And I just went back and sort of got some of the riffs from uh, those old old blues, um, um, uh, you know, recordings and, and, and yeah. tried to put lyrics but that would really speak to the soul of Christians. And, and hopefully that's what we've done uh, with those three uh, good news blues that we have on. Then we have other ones that, that remind you of the traditional gospels. The Paul leads a song called That Man um, with the nails in his hand. And it's a slow song that uh, really is a testimony, uh, you know, for Christians uh, who who know that Jesus, uh, uh, you know, he lived, he came, he lived, he died, and he rose again. And, and this this song is a testimony to that. And, and it's really, really a powerful song. I think Paul does an excellent job on the lead, uh, you know, for that song. So we have a little bit for everything. He even had a little reggae, uh, you know, song. On what? The- yeah. What yeah. about that step of song, Mac? You can step a little bit, step for Jesus. Yeah, we got we got a couple of step step slide songs on there. Uh, you know, everybody goes out to to the to the club on Friday nights and Saturday nights where like you know, we wrote a song where you can come to church and you can you can step and slide off of uh 
off of some of these songs that we have. We got two of them on there, Hold Me Jesus and um Do the Right Thing that that are basically dance tunes. Um yeah. uh, you know, get your praise on. You can get your praise on with these songs. Um and I guess artists uh we have well, actually four. We have uh, Minister Marvin Webb, he's singing on Hold Me Jesus. Uh he has a very successful C D project out called um uh, it's time for love, and then uh, I, I spoke by Lisa Shaw. Uh, we have Larry, we have uh, Lloyd Gregory, who's a who's a, a jazz artist. He has eight, nine, ten albums out. He's played with Stanley Clark and some of the some of the uh, you know most known uh, jazz artists. Um, he's on there. He's playing on the on on the two blues sides. He plays the lead guitar, and, and it's just it's phenomenal how this guy plays. Um, then we have Levi, Levi Caesar, who was formerly with Prince in the New Revolution. Right, um, right. He he plays with you know he played with them. Uh, he he currently tours with Joe, um, Jody Watley and also with uh, Tony Tony Tony. But he comes from the church. We know him because he you know he comes from Richmond. He comes from the church, and whenever he's at home, he wants to play with us. Uh, wow. So he, he we had him to come in. He helped produce. Uh, some of the songs that are on the uh, on the CD. Also, Derek Hall, uh, who's a local brother, a uh, pianist, a uh, very, very very talented brother. Um, he helped produce some of the songs, and so did Lloyd Gregory. So, so you, you know, we have a little bit of everything on there, but the musicianship is, I think, astounding, and uh, and I think that you know, for for people that have a very taste when it comes to gospel, you know, the, you you love this CD because you know there's something for everybody there. All right, that's something for everybody. It, that's why I call it Macology. Yeah. Oh, you said Macology. I call it Macology. That's why that's yeah. because, that's because it's his creation. <laughs> I love that. Come on in this house. The name of the of the full CD. Come on in this house. And uh, one of the tracks, actually, the first one. Come on in this house. Uh, tell us, tell us how you all came up with that title, and, and then that's the you know one the first track that people hear. Well, back in the day, you know, I'm a, a, my mother was a pianist. She played for uh, Baptist Church. Paul's mother was, uh, you know, she's very much involved in church. And, uh, you know, we had to go to church every Sunday. I mean, that uh-huh. was, in, in, in sometimes during the week, because we had to go to PTU, Bible meeting. We had to, we had to do that. And so, uh, you know, coming in the house of the Lord was, was something that was not uh, unusual to us. But there are a whole bunch of people who don't go to church and who don't um, – uh, who don't know that uh, you know you can in fact go there and, and, and straighten out the, you know situations in your lives, and so we're saying uh, uh, with that song, you know, if you you know if you're a backsider, you're a sinner, uh, you you come on in the house and and, and let and let the Lord help you, uh, you know, through whatever the storms that you're going through, and 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 so that was basically the title song, knowing that uh, you, you know we we come from a tradition, we come from a uh, you know, a past with uh, with family and friends who 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 found the church as a as a sanctuary, um, and it's, so it's not you know it's not um, unknown or un- unfamiliar to us to to go in the house of the Lord to praise Him. All right, there's the explanation. I always love to have people explain the titles, uh, so it really helps to stick with the listeners. So, how can people purchase the project? Well, right now you can go to cdbaby dot com. Slash consonant C O N S O N A N C E three, the number three, and uh, you can purchase the CD on CD Baby. Um, it, it's there for everybody to to go and get. <laughs> all right, go pick it up. Go pick it up. And so, do you all have? And you know any, what? Um, yes. You know what, Chavez? I I meant to send when I sent you that 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 single CD. I meant to send you some extra CDs because you can give away uh, you, uh, to your listeners, and unfortunately, I didn't. I didn't put it in, but I will put them in the mail tomorrow. Oh, okay, and we will make sure we do a, a raffle. So, listeners, you got to make go. sure you, you hang out, Charvette, uh, charvette.com. I've got a great blog post over there, full bio about consonants. Uh, you, I've got a link to CD Baby, so that's an easy place. Uh, and then you can stay tuned for the drawing we're going to have for you. you All go. right, so, <laughs> yeah. Do you have any upcoming events or anything that you all will be at that people can come to? Uh, yes, we'll be April the second. We'll be at the Richmond Auditorium. They have they're having a um, 
a, a, an artist night. They having uh, uh, we're the only gospel group. Yeah, there. It's a propaganda. Yeah, they, it, it's a it's an <laughs> extravaganza because they're having blues <laughs> groups, gospel groups, uh, some jazz groups, some hip hop rappers. Groups. Uh, rappers and so we we're on that and I think it starts at the Richmond Auditorium in Richmond California which is on 25th and McDonald uh April the 2nd it starts at 5:30 well I think our set will start at 5:30 it's going to go from 5:30 until 1 o'clock I believe 1 or 2 o'clock and it'll just be one group after the next uh will be coming wow. on but but we're the only, we're the only gospel group in um uh, you will probably sing some of our good news blues because we like to do that, if, uh, you know, in, in uh, at venues such as this. Okay, wonderful. And how um, can people keep up with you and maybe some of the other things that's going on on your website? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have a website. It's uh, uh, Consonus Gospel, C O N S O N A N C E Gospel, all one word, lowercase dot com www.consonantsgospel.com, and that's our website. And you can go on and uh, uh, you read about the group. You can see some pictures of us. Uh, we have uh, uh, some links to you know purchase the CDs, all three of the CDs, not just this new project that we have, but all three of the CDs you can purchase uh, uh, there because they're we're, we're still selling those too. Okay, absolutely. You can go back. So, Paul, we don't want to leave out the other uh, the other members of the group. So, tell our listeners about all of the uh, other members of Consonant. Well, we we have uh, one member that that, that recently passed uh, from us. Oh. Well, two members passed uh, from us, but uh, Sam Cox was the latest uh, one that passed here recently. Who uh, played drums and. Uh, had a tremendous voice and could almost eat a hamburger and sing and play drums at the same time. Wow. So uh, he was an excellent drummer. And then, like uh, uh, Mac was saying, we got uh, Bob Reed, who's an excellent singer. And uh, we also have uh, Melvin Williams, brother Melvin Williams, who's uh, uh, down there. What Melvin is Mac, Mac, down there? In, uh, uh, it's in Plano, Texas, I think. I think yeah, yeah. He, he, he's there right now. We bring him in. When we have different sets, but okay. uh, everybody everybody is still functioning. Uh, and we have Larry the, Noble. Larry Noble is, Larry a good, Noble is a good to player, uh, and Dennis Reed. Dennis Reed, Dennis uh, Reed yeah. is a jazz. He was a jazz trumpeter, really, but he he, he yeah. started playing piano, and uh, uh, he's playing keyboards for us, and also singing and too. Singing. Okay, so that is the group. We want. I wanted to make sure we shouted out everybody. I didn't want y'all to come on the re- interview and, and they say y'all didn't even say nothing about us. <laughs> exactly. Don't want them to get mad. Thank you, Shavette. You got right. our back, girl. <laughs> I got your back. We want everybody happy. So, uh, what do you say to? Because I, I see a new breed. I'm going to say new breed. It's probably not the right way, but a new breed of quartet. That's like a younger generation. Are you all seeing that as well as you travel? Of a, a younger, almost those t- early twenties, kind of coming into the quartet genre. Yeah, there are some, um, and uh, you. Know, I'm sorry that there, there aren't a lot, but uh, there are some, and I think that they're you know they're pretty good. I mean they they're they're uh, you're really trying to relate to the younger crowd uh mm-hmm. with with the way in which they're singing uh you know quartet but uh uh you know we have some 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 young men that used to follow us around the Sons of Soul Revival and they're 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 now in their 40s I guess um but they were they were like our you know our junior group so to speak and they and they're they're you know they're they're singing uh in this area and then there's some other like the um uh, the Erica Erica and what's the what's Mary Mary's um sister name? Uh, oh, Erica and Tina, yeah. Er, Erica and Tina, well their husband uh uh is in a group uh and and I you know I think that they have just a fabulous group uh of young men that sing gospel. Uh you got the legends down there in is it South Carolina? The legends of gospel. Um there's some young men mm-hmm. that that I really like. I I I think that they 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 put on a great show and they're, and, and they're really anointed. Uh, so there there are a lot of you know a lot of young uh, people that are that are singing, but it's, it it doesn't seem like it's as many as it was when we were kids. You know, we yeah. it was a long time ago. I don't need to tell you how old we are, but we we we, 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 we <laughs> we've been around long enough to see a lot of changes in the 
uh, in the styles. But uh, yeah, there's there's some younger quartet groups, and you know, I I appreciate all that they do. They they really you know, but 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 obviously you, you know, when they get with us, uh, you you know, sometimes we have to sh- you know show them what it's all about. You know, <laughs> right. <laughs> well, somebody had to show somebody the way. So, yeah, yeah, you Paul, <laughs> what do you want people to when they hear your music, you all's music, the music from Consonance? What, Paul? What do you want people to kind of walk away with? Well, basically the message of the song and uh, that will stir their heart and draw them now closer to the Lord in these evil and, and cruel times that we're living in now. That's basically what I, I, I want them to receive. And then to uh, to, to feel the, the anointing that's in the songs and the anointing that's in the voices and know it's the real thing. When you hear it, yeah. you know it's the real thing because it's, 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 it's anointed. And then uh, uh, the anointing to go out and, 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 and prep the heart, and then uh, people will be drawn into our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in these these cruel and evil days that we're living in. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and so, Mac, are you looking forward to continuing to do more projects? Uh, you know, this is the third one now we have. Are you looking forward to continuing to write? Uh, actually, I'm still yeah, uh, very much so. Uh, uh, I'm uh, helping uh, Minister Marvin Webb. He's he's starting on his second CD, and um, I'm helping him produce that. We're writing a lot of songs for him. And I've done I've done some songs for a few uh, groups uh, uh, locally, but you know I I I really like writing and I really like uh, you know producing, and I think that uh, you know we'll get started. I already got some songs for our next project. Oh, wow. um, you know, so we're we're already starting to think about that and and, and conceive of that. I re- I think I want to do something that will uh, you know bring us back to the old time way. And um, uh, you know, as Paul was saying, I mean, you know, every er, every song that we sing sing has a message in it. Uh, some people get caught up in the beat, they get caught up in the um, in the uh, you know, in the music, but there's a message mm-hmm. in every song that we sing, and we 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 hope that that message touch the hearts and minds of people let them know that uh you know there's something greater than than we uh and 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 we need to be uh, we need to be cognizant of that at all times and you know hopefully know that the lord is uh you know is on our side and that uh you know as we go through this life uh you're not going alone and so our songs are inspirational to let you know that but also to remind you that uh, you know you got to be saved and sanctified in order to, to you, you know, live that eternal life, and uh, and and that's the message in our song. I would hope people would get, uh, you know, from from our projects. Well, but one man, song well, I, I like, I like, I like to say uh, that I want Mac to really start thinking about, and uh, I'm I'm telling it to him now since we're talking about it, and you brought it up, and that's about the the uh, the, the killing, the shooting, mm, in mm-hmm. terms of back in the day we used to fight knuckle fight. And then that was it. But nowadays, the younger generation don't know how to fight. All they know how to do is just shoot. So then, therefore, I want I want a real, real, real substance song uh, that tells the younger generation to you know to put down the guns and 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 and, and, and seek for peace and look for peace instead of uh, taking people out that way. Mm-hmm. You know that that type of a song is, is desperately needed because they're doing a lot of shooting now. They don't. They don't want to fight. They don't want to shed knuckles or see who the strongest. They just want to take out a gun and shoot. Yeah, yeah. Lord help yeah, us. Well, Certainly, my, Lord help us. My son, who's on this, who's who's on this CD, he has a he he's putting out a an album, and uh, we did a, a a song on on uh, on his uh, on his CD. Um, um, about the about the time in the neighborhood, and and uh, he, he he even did a video, and he's he he he's talking just about the same topic that that Paul is uh, is talking about. That you know why are we uh, you know lost our our moral compass? Where um, mm-hmm. our young men and, and, and our young women, uh, and it's not just the young men; it's you, you know it's the young women. They you know they seem mm-hmm. not to be in touch with uh, anything that's morally. Uh, you know, fit and morally right. Uh, you know, they're, they're they're being swayed by all of this all this nonsense that are out here, and it's causing them to shoot and kill one another. Our our, our young girls not to value their bodies, and um, yeah, you know, it's um it's it's kind of sad. But I see, you know, I I think that 
you know, turning back to the church, turning back to the church and, and allowing uh, the message uh, from the church to be uh, in the hearts and minds of our young people will hopefully bring them back into um, you know, a, a way where that moral compass will, will, will be restored. And unfortunately, um, you know, we don't see that enough. And a lot of that has to do with, you know, you don't see the church going out in the streets a lot either. So, but, you know, and that's why we, you know, that's why we're doing this music. Uh, you know, maybe, yeah. maybe it's the music that will bring them to church and then they can hear the message. Well, you're doing something right if you got invited to, you know, that big event in April and you're the only gospel group. That's right. You know, right. so that's an audience that right. is not a church audience. So mm-hmm. um, we wish you Godspeed with, you know, with that. Wow. Okay, our time ran out. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so um, last question. Well, last two questions for you. Uh, so, Paul, I'd love to hear just what continues to motivate you. The goal here at my show is to motivate, excite, and influence, and we want to know what continues to motivate you. Well, what, what motivates me is, is just, being in love with the master and the master continuing to uh, motivate me with prayer in the morning and praying for the different conditions of the world and praying for different families and, and just helping in the community and basically going into the common lessons and, you know, singing and just trying to lift old people up that, that, that don't have someone coming in to visit them and just, just put more into the, uh, the world and more into just people in general when you meet them down the street or when you meet them at a program or when you meet them at church, uh, the new converts, the, you know, just staying in that realm, and that's been basically our life, you know, down through uh, time. Wonderful, wonderful. That's the motivation. All right. And then, Mac, before you give me your uh, your keeps you motivated, one more time tell listeners uh, all of the three projects you have out and where they can go pick them up. Well, our first project is is See the Light. Um, and the second project was a Message of Hope, and the third project, the one that's currently out now, is um, is Come on in this house. And all three of them can be uh, purchased uh, by going to cdbaby. dot com slash consonant c o n s o n a n c e three the number three. Um, and that will take you to the location on CD Baby, and you'll be able to purchase uh, one or all three of those CDs. All right. And what continues to motivate you? Well, Chavez, we're you know we're not um, islands um, uh, by ourselves uh, here on this planet. You know, we were all put here with a purpose, and we're all given uh, uh, certain gifts. And if we can't make the world better by our presence uh assist and help people get you know get to feel better and 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 live a better life um then then we've wasted those gifts that God has given us and and I'm hoping that uh, I stay motivated enough to you know to bring people to Jesus uh to bring people to the Lord at the same time hopefully you know giving them something that will sustain them uh as they as they go through uh, you know daily life you know, trials and tribulations, it's rough out here, and 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 hopefully we can be an inspiration, uh, you know, to help soothe them, and you know, be, you know, hopefully be that bomb in Gilead that that would, you know, bring some healing to uh, you know to our world. Wonderful, wonderful. We are on the same mission uh, here as well, on the same mission. Well, yeah. thank you so much, guys, for just uh, calling in and hanging out with us, and we just wish you much more continued success with your project and all of your you know, ministry opportunities. Thank you, Chavez. We really appreciate it. And may God continue to bless you and keep you in his favor because uh, you, you know what you're doing is a valuable asset uh, you know, to the gospel world. Amen. I can hear the thank you. I can hear the warmness in that voice. That's mm-hmm. a good voice. I, I mean, it's, it's just like you right here with me. <laughs> <laughs> we make it easy like for you. you. Right we here with me. You got good, good humor there. That's 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 what makes everything, especially coming across the air. Yeah. 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 We we try. We try. Great. Well, thank you guys so much. Oh yes, and my niece Ooh. Carol said that you told me to tell you hello. Oh, hello, Carol. Waving now. Is she in the in the UK or the United States right now? Uh, she she's in she, she's up in Washington. 
Okay, she's in Washington State. Okay, mm-hmm. oh, she's 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 global, so I have to oh, check yeah. and see <laughs> where <laughs> Carol is. So big shout out uh, to Carol. Okay. All right, wonderful. Thank you so much. All right. All right, listeners, that's going to be a wrap for today's show. We want you to check back with us uh, next week. We've got more phenomenal shows and all that good stuff. Make sure you go to Charvette.com, and we're going to see you guys later. Live from Richmond, Virginia, you've been listening to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Catch Charvette Mitchell every Tuesday at 6 p.m., interviewing all the stars you want to hear from. So until next week, stay motivated, excited, and influenced. This is the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. 